Back in September, the Saints dominated their first matchup against the Panthers. Can Carolina even the score? Find out next on EA Sports. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. And Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 33, here's second down and one. Play action, now it's Carr. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On play action, it's Carr. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Young to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Young will set to throw. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. It's taken to the 26. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense, led by their running back, headed out for the second possession. And he's made his presence felt in the passing game throughout the season. You look at the NFL's leader in receiving yards by a running back. His name right there at the top. Now Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Car. Little short pass here to Hill. He was locked in. Two trips to the end zone, Charles, over 100 yards receiving. How about the combination of route running, confidence going downfield, and the ability to go up and get the football? You're exactly right. It was hard for them to stop him. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 33. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. Throwing now is Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. 
Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? We figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you would have not had that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. And you look at this Saints defense, and they've been pretty much a mess against the pass number 31 in the league. Theories abound. People have opinions. But too often for this team this season, it's been the big play that's done them in. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Young to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's second down and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Here's Young. Checks this down to Hubbard. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Second and seven operating from the 34. Right back to Hubbard. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll try to throw now. Young. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there. A really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Back to it after the pick six. Young got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports.
Panthers with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Second and six. On the give, this is Hubbard. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Young. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. They go play action. Young. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Moore, the motion man. Looking to throw, Young. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So, here are the Saints to take over. Remember, right now they are on a six-game losing streak trying to snap that. And a good sign is they've got the lead in the football. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Carr to Valdez Scantling over the middle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Kamara up the middle, and he'll get this down only to about the 46. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Card out of throw. Open on the left side, this is Valdez Scantling. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 18. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Shotgun now for Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Car to throw again. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. 
But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Now Carr. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Patterson's kick is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio. That answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Here's Young from the shotgun. He completes this one to Mingo. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's good for a Carolina Panther. From the shotgun, it's Young. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Throwing, Young. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Again, it's Young. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10. At their own 16. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll lead here to a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun now on third down, Carr. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. To throw, it's Carr. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Sean Robinson in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to ski in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. 
Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's Kamara. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Young now. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. And Xavier Leggett. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, there you go, Charles, his first touchdown pass of the new season. Well, let's just go back to his rookie year because he's able to get his feet wet, right, get a little bit of experience. Now I think here in year two, the game will slow down for him and we'll see his true talents come out. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead down to three at 13-10. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Escaping a tackler at the 25. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Saints offense and the veteran Alvin Kamara getting set for this next possession. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. Wilson's got it complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the gun, it's Carr. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, these two teams, they met in New Orleans earlier in the year with the Saints coming out on top. So a win here in Charlotte would give them the season sweep. Here's Carr. Downfield and he's got Olave. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Chris Olave, 54 yards. And the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. The Panthers offense and Xavier Leggett set to take over once more. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman. And to now past the halfway point of this game, we skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. 
Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. In motion goes the tight end. Third down, Young from the gun. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Now the focus goes back to Chris Alave, the Saints offense. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game. But so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yes, it, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Second down in the yard. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. From midfield, here's Carr. He completes it to Wilson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Working from the gun, it's Carr. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Now second and five. Carr. It's brought in by Wilson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Carr going to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Again, it's Carr. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And he wisely will throw that one away. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Patterson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. 
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And they'll start on the... And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give a little bit of confidence the big plays are out there. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard to the 43, second down. Man in motion left, Mingo. Here is Young. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. Two yards on the pickup there. And now third down and six to go. More the man in motion. Now Young. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. Looking to throw, Young. Open man down the field, that's Leggett. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Let's go now. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Young. That is caught at the seven yard line. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Young to throw it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that gets him back within 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and Derek Carr ready for this next possession. And this defense flag, nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. They'll get this out to Kamara. 
And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Throwing now is Carr. Out to the right here to Wilson. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. A five-yard gain on the play. First down, New Orleans. Now Carr. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now Carr. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Carr. Forced out to his left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right, it's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time Touchdown, Carolina! David Moore. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Shotgun now for Carr. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. to throw his car on the check down he finds Kamara and he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning so it's Saints football as we get your reset 
They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Kamara. And he will have a Saints first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory for him. And they take a knee. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Car down to a knee, and that ought to just about do it. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? They had to just hold on, as you said. Furious assault on them, but they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. Well, this ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, it's up environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win. So for the Saints, they inch closer to respectability now at three and six on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Carolina, the difficult season continues as they drop to 1-8, and, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.